again for another reaction. Uh, this time we are reacting to Matrix Resurrections. Um, this is the fourth movie in the uh, uh, Matrix movie franchise. I have not seen uh, this trailer, so it's gonna be interesting. Uh, let's let's do this. Uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Thomas, you seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Huh. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. Okay. Oh, they've lost all their memories. Ah. Oh. Okay. to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. You don't know me. No? Okay, that looks plastic. years to be going back to where it all started back to the matrix what? okay uh <laughs> okay that's interesting um just one little note on the word resurrections. Why did they have to use that in the title? That's like a death sentence, you know, like Halloween resurrections, alien resurrections. Every movie that has the word resurrection in it seems to be like a, a flop at the box office. Or maybe not the box office, but it's like, it's just a cash grab, you know? That's sort of the byword for it. But anyway, okay. My thoughts on this. Uh, my first thought must be, uh, are they doing this again? It seemed like a lot of that trailer seemed like it was a retread in a way. Uh, new characters, sure. Um, what I got from it was that I, that I was interested in was, okay, they have been taking the blue pills to sort of suppress their memories, I suppose. But... I'm like, okay, wait, the third movie ended with the peace treaty, and, like, anybody who wanted to will be freed. Yeah, I was always a little bit, like, confused with that. Like, how would they do that? Would they tell everybody in the Matrix the truth? And would they be able to, like, that would cause mass hysteria and everything. Like, I'm interesting, I'm interested in knowing how they fix that. 
and and like how they how the story is going to go in that way but like the, what i saw like with the action scenes and with the basically just the uh the narrative except for them taking blue pills or maybe it's just neo who does it but except for that it seemed like okay here we go again with the agents with the people being harvested and by the way that harvester which i saw like that was picking up those things i mean it was it was a quick flash it looked very plastic can compared to like the dark tone of the of the even the ones we saw in the very first movie this one looked like it had like a, the, like the tentacles looked very white and 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 uh it looked very strange very cheap in a way um but yeah uh what else oh yeah i did not see Lawrence fishburne in there now i don't know if anything official has been said that he's not going to be in it or not um but uh i don't remember did he die in the first no i mean uh, hold on i need to check this out oh Okay, so Morpheus apparently is supposed to have died. Keanu Reeves, Neo is back in the Matrix of Resurrections, uh, as is Carrie Ann Moss, Trinity. But so far, Lawrence Fishburne's Morpheus is absent from the Matrix of Resurrections. Resurrections. Despite the fact that Morpheus is the only one still alive at the end of the last Matrix movie, at least out of the three main characters, that doesn't mean Morpheus isn't in the Matrix Resurrections, though. <gasps> Excuse me. The first film's trailer and the actor himself want us to believe uh, Yahya Abdul Mateen II is playing a younger version of Morpheus, but is that really Morpheus in a different body in the movie? Okay. So why would he need a new vessel? What happened to the old Morpheus? Did he die? Or is something else going on in a world where nothing is as it seems? Morpheus's history, including his fate after the Matrix, Re Matrix Revolutions, offers a guide to deciphering this confusing code. And they are talking about the video game, The Matrix Online, which was a multiplayer RPG that ran from 2005 to 2009 uh, in order to continue the story. Technically, everything that happened in the game, which saw players navigating a post-revolutions matrix where man and machine coexist, is supposed to be canon. And that includes the death of Morpheus. Uh -huh. So yes, Morpheus has died in the Matrix franchise, even though he did not officially die in the Matrix movies. Well, that's a... That's screwed so everybody who's psyched of you know to look forward to this movie is going to question why Lawrence Fishburne isn't in it and their result their like answer to that is ah oh, you should check out this MMRPG which is like already over 10 years old and it's discontinued really I mean, people are going to be a little bit, you know, like, what? How the hell were we supposed to know that? You know? The only thing more shocking than learning Morpheus officially died in the Matrix universe via a video game is learning that his death was incredibly lame. Okay, this is obviously opinion. And then there's a YouTube video showing the Matrix Online death of Morpheus. We won't be checking that out now, but okay, I understand. They sort of tried it there, and okay, all right. Well, I gotcha. That's that's a little bit disconcerting. I mean, Morpheus, specifically Lawrence Fishburne, was like a huge draw for the original movies. He was like one of the ba one of the backbone pillars of the movies. Uh, especially in the first one. God damn. Um, I don't know what to think about this. I, I'm, I'm sure, like, the new actor is gonna do a good job. But I feel like if they're bringing in, like, freaking Carrie Ann Moss and, and Keanu Reeves, it's 
basically Jurassic World Dominion, where Dominion got it right in bringing in the Holy Trifecta, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum. The Wachowskis are like, yeah, we're going to give you Keanu Reeves, we're going to give you Carrie Ann Moss, but eh, nah, Lawrence Fishburne is not going to be in it, even though he was like a major character. You really should check out this video game, which doesn't exist anymore, because that's where he died. Like, what? Come on. Okay, so that's my major gripe with that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Very well. Uh, other than that, and also the the initial uh, thought about rehashing a lot of the old stuff, like, oh no, there's an agent. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to set my sights fairly low with this movie. And hopefully be pleasantly surprised. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's it for tonight. Or tonight. It's still daytime. But yeah. Take care guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, see you soon again.